What's happening everybody, I'm Grillmaster. Welcome to Gloria Victus Siege Survival. So this is like a survival, calling management type of thing. You're in a castle, and it's under siege, and you're basically trying to survive in an area with the tutorial. Let's basically trying to survive and keep people alive and keep troops supplied. While, you know, as long as you can, I guess. I didn't even know the Glory of Victus is apparently a game that's an MMO that came out in 2016. I saw that when I was looking at this thing and I was like, oh, cool. This game just caught my eye. <laughs> Seemed like it'd be fun. Say this is supposed to be us, but I don't think so. I feel like he's gonna. Yeah. And they're at our gates, basically. It's day of summer, the year 1205. Kingdom of Midland. We were just starting harvest when the Ismar struck out of nowhere, catching us off guard. Horns of war sounded throughout Edring. The smoke filled city streets ran red with the blood of its city. Uh, the sewage warriors from Cargald had invaded our home. Okay. Oh, I gotta continue. Town guard. <laughs> the horse sound. They could have fought bravely, but the Ismars were too many. Before long, the raiders were in the main square, and the city center stood in flames. All we could do is send a messenger out to summon aid. While the outnumbered guards focused on protecting them. Uh, workers salvaging supplies or the fleeing citizens? Whoa, the fleeing citizens would probably be what they do, but I mean, I feel like this is going to be helpful to me. Knowing the fate of the castle depends on food stocks, the guard gave their life to help salvage as much as possible. The extra supplies help us survive the siege. It was up to the rest of us to ensure the sacrifice would not be squandered. Bloodshed continued unabated, street by street, square after square, the Ismars overran the city, murdering anyone who didn't escape in time. And they prepared their war engines, smashing the gate, connecting the tower and the castle. Thought things couldn't get worse then. We glimpsed a monstrous figure, or the barracks were destroyed. I don't know. Uh, we glimpsed a monstrous figure. Our Argolarders were led by the infamous Nameless Champion. Nothing I'd seen in a whole life was more terrifying than the beast like figure. We all heard tales of huge northerners, but nothing prepared us for the sight of the monstrous man walking up the streets of our city. In our hearts, we abandoned hope. That's not good. We took shelter in the keep and took stock of the situation. Supplies were limited. No doubt the Ismars would soon attack again. The castle, the only part of Edring, were uncaptured. Now under siege, and it was up to our support, our soldiers, as a fight to stave off the enemy until relief comes. And this is where we are. I assume, depending on the choices we made there, is what happens. Like, it, we, we're probably going to have more supplies, but less people. Probably going to have, uh... What's the other option? The barracks collapsed? Something else? Oh, okay, so this isn't even from, like, a top-down perspective. Three character by... Okay. Alright, let's go interact with this guy. Recognize the man before you, it's Bert Bram, a local carpenter. Relieved to see he survived, it's clear, however, the events of the day have scarred him in some terrible way. It sits there, seemingly unaware of your presence, shivering and pressing his hand to his chest. You check him for wounds, you notice something in his tightly clenched hand, it's a small scorched doll. Then realize this man has just lost his family. There's nothing more you can do for the, this kind of pain, still, perhaps a warm meal might snap him out of the state in shock. If the kitchen was destroyed by Ismar to Trebuchet, you'll have to build a fireplace first. With all this debris around, you will surely have no difficulty finding firewood and other useful materials. Okay. We can rotate, we can do all that jazz. What does my dude look like? Just a, just a dude chilling with a 
escape on. We got pigs. Is there anything I can do in particular? He said there's like debris. But up here, no. Oh, right here. Okay, I see a thing. Collect resources. This, this, the whole area we're in. This is our siege survival. In this tiny little thing. Oh no. All right, the items you collected in the debris pile are in the center window. Move an item by using the mouse button, drag and drop, or click choose take. Okay. Or by using right mouse button. Okay, so what do we have? We have fibers and we have wood. Take all. Build stump and sawhorse. Chop firewood. All right. Oh, is that the carpenter dude? No. Oh, it's like a workbench. Wait, upgrade this building. Storage space where we keep resources to build and improve our constructions. Unlock constructions, furnace, rainwater collector, garden plot, rat trap, and armory. Oh, I can't upgrade right now. Oh, here we go. Okay. All the available constructions are listed on the left. If you have all the required buildings, it'll be green. Once it's built, these properties on the right. Alright, cool, cool. Any construction can be damaged by the enemy's projectile if it's placed in an exposed area. Well, that's not good. Uh, marked orange in the building mode. You can place it in a safe blue zone protected by the thick bastion wall. But it's a limited area, so you have to decide what building to protect. Okay, stump and storehouse. I want to make that, build that. And, uh, you said in the blue area? This area over here? So this is in danger. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't feel like putting it right up there is a good thing, but I guess maybe not. We'll find out. Go and build that. Need more wood? We should get some more from the rubble. There's... I mean, there's not much rubble. I mean, there's only one thing of rubble I was able to check. I mean, I see more right here, but it won't let me check it. Alright, chop some wood. Create craft new items, select the scheme for the item you want, the properties on the right. Okay. About normal for most things. Few alternative ingredients, vegetables instead of eggs, for example. You can change the ingredient to be used with the arrow. Okay. So chop some wood. I assume just this, right? You just want firewood? It just says chop some wood, it doesn't say to what into what. <laughs> But I mean, if we're preparing a warm meal, I assume it's firewood. Go we'll collect resources. Anything else popping up? No. Medicine, bandage. Okay, so we got eggs, rotten food, fibers, and materials. Just take it all. Build the fireplace using the storehouse. Alright, come on over here. Our place, build this. I'm just gonna put it in the middle. I'm not gonna put it in anything special. What is this? A pantry? Oh. Okay, cool. That's new. Make a meal using the fireplace. Okay, so I can, like, switch it out, is what you're saying? Oh, yeah, so I can switch it to other things. Cool. Alright, craft that up. I got your food for you. What is this other stuff? Rested, fed, slightly thirsty, healthy, fit, worried. Alright, I got your food, buddy. This. Bastion is still exactly where you left him, shivering and pressing the tattered doll to his chest. His eyes stare absently, frozen, pain frozen on his face. It's as though his mind just cannot escape what it must have been in the darkest moments. He barely notices your presence, but you manage to make him eat. Bite after bite, you can see life coming back into him. Finally, he puts down the empty bowl and falls asleep. Safe to guess he hasn't shut his eyes since yesterday. Let the rest. Bertram's recovery would be so much better if we had a simple, even a simple bed, which you could build with materials lying in the streets. The gate connecting the city to the castle is damaged, but you recall there's a secret passage leading to the city market. You use it and look for some supplies under the cover of night. Wait a minute, who's the man standing by the gate leading to the bastion? Uh huh? Who's the man? Are you on? What do you want about this dude? What's up, buddy? 
How's it going? Soldier stands before you, he's covered in blood, his eyes dim with exhaustion, the tunic and his armor torn to shreds. Only once he speaks, you recognize Galvik, an experienced garrison member known and liked by the citizens for his cordial attitude. Cordial attitude. He's stunned, speechless by the loss of his aunt and nieces, and another blow falling on a man already exhausted, but there is no time to grieve. His words will attack soon, as he must resupply before it happens. And he reveals that a group of soldiers is searching through the city as well. They still haven't come back. That's what he needs your help. What do you need? You need arrows, he says. Quite a lot of them. It wouldn't... It would take days to craft them from scratch. How about the Boer's workshop in the city? That's your chance. Hurry, says Galvik. Our lives depend on you. He turns to the Bastion. Night has come. Okay. Scavenge the cities. Oh, so this almost has... It's like it's like a sheltered combined with like a... It's War of Mine vibe. From character outside. Right here you can make all the preparations before entering this. No secret pass from the castle. Only one of them is available at the moment, but you'll find others as you go. Okay, on the top right, you can see the backpack of the selected character. Cuckoo. Each of them in a different space. Uh, think of what items you need during the scavenge. You move them to the common supplies of the backpack. Torches, shovels, weapons. Be your usual choice. You have one torch. It might be useful. Okay. So I should probably take the torch. Fertilizer. I'm going to take a bandage just in case. Your diseases. I'm not too worried about that. I feel like that's probably good. Select like passage. Active passage. Oh, there's different places. Okay. Not available in pre. This is a preview version, by the way. Uh. There's a lot of stuff here. I mean, I guess this is the only one I can go to, so start scavenging. Okay, you enter the despoiled dis city below the castle. You can move faster by double-clicking the left mouse button. Running is louder in the cities under occupation. Definitely a good idea to move carefully and mind your surroundings. Okay, I don't expect this first area to be super brutal. I don't really see anything here. Is this just go back home? Yeah. Oh, okay, apparently I cannot move the camera around past where I am. It's, it's following. Well, that's not good. Something useful here. Okay. Take all. Keep moving. This. Is there a person there? I think that's where I'm supposed to go. Everything's fine right now. Found the Bower's house. Needless to say, the Ismars have been here. The building has been scorched and looted. Its owner's hangs from the nearby tree. A dozen arrows sticking to the body. As you gaze at the destruction, a chilling wind reminds you why you're here to find arrows for the soldiers. The one way to find out. Step inside. Prowl through the devastated workshop, looting, looking for the precious arrows among piles of broken parts and burnt-out furniture. Time passes, but you can't find any. Just as you're about to give up, you spot a flash in the dark under a broken roof. Yes, arrows of the Bastion Defenders. You try to pull them out, but they seem stuck under the broken beam. Pull and pull until they're all yours. Suddenly, you dislodge the beam, collapses on top of you with all its weight. Pain shoots through your whole body. It takes you ages to pull free. As you leave the workshop, you see something's changed. Boris' corpse has been taken down. An old woman leans over the body of the shade of the tree. She is sobbing, exhausted. I guess she must be her, his mother. She had risked her life to cut down her son and bury him in a shallow grave. The woman struggles to move him, but she bets herself with an axe under. She hurts herself with the axe under her belt. Take the axe and leave. I'm gonna help her. The woman is startled to see you approach, but you, but you see relief in her eyes as she realizes you want to help. Once the corpse is buried, she gives you a small sack and suddenly walks out. Walks away into the dark. Okay, so we got two bundles of it, and we got valuables, I guess. That's good. How about we don't yet? I still need two cloth. So I can make a bed. What's this? Hunter's wounded. Oh, okay. Requiring bandages and rest. Do I inventory? Inventory. Okay, use? 
This is why I brought a bandage with me. And I have to rest. I can't do that yet. He has shovel to remove this obstacle. Pick vegetable sounds like a good thing. I mean, I'm here. I'm going to try to get as much as I can. That's not what I was hoping to find. Yeah, that seems like a bad thing. Materials, all right. Do I want to keep going? I don't know how far I should advance. There's vegetables back there, which would be good for food. Like, do I have a limited amount of time is one of the things I'm kind of wondering. Kind of maybe seems like it, because this is moving. I'm going to run. I'm assuming there's going to be some like bad guys at some point. Right now, it doesn't seem There's the thing here. Yeah, it looks like it's going towards... I assume I need to be out of here before morning. What is this? No, my backpack's full. Aw. Well, then I think we're just going to leave. I want to go here, but... Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. My backpack's full, I gotta leave. Can't carry any more stuff. Like, I'd go interact with that other thing, but night was calm, the night was calm, and the enemy assault can come in any day. Let's prepare for it. We should use the chance to help the soldiers of the Bastion. I got your stuff, man. Seems Bertram is feeling much better. The loss of his family is crushing impact on him, but only time can heal. Nonetheless, finally the carpenters recovered and shook from shock and is ready to rejoin the fight. It was Flint, right? He asked. I remember you visiting my workshop once or twice with Galvik. Thanks for the help. Now we should take care of the animals and find fresh water. That term is right. Fresh water is paramount. A stroke of bad luck, the castle well took a direct hit from the trebuchets. Still, maybe if you clear away the debris, you might repair it somehow. Gotta try. Okay, unlocked a second character. Oh, this is this totally has freaking swore of mine vibes. Open. Okay, so we actually have other people. Is it tab to switch? Oh my God! There's de there's stuff to collect everywhere. Let's go collect those resources. Go collect those resources. Bastion. Oh. You can see reports about upcoming enemy assaults. Sometimes you will need to scout behind enemy lines to actually obtain this information. It's important to keep the Bastion's strength as high as possible in order to maximize, minimize defender losses and wall. The screen to pass supplies to the Bastion, they will be packed, transferred to the active character once they've confirmed choice. So here you see broken equipment which you have to take care and repair. Make sure to check the defender's needs every day. Okay, you can check the defenses going. See the remaining defenders and their equipment. The ultimate task is to keep the Bastion well prepared for incoming attacks. Okay, so I need to put defend I need to move arrows. Here? I'm assuming they probably want food too, right? Doesn't have enough melee weapon. No wounded, there are twelve ready to fight, the morale is high. You get plus four for what I just did. Okay, that's good I think. Yeah, I think we're fine, I guess. I mean, they, they clearly have more points or whatever. What are you doing? Take all from there. Keep gathering stuff for right now. What is he doing? Not sure what he just ran up there for, but whatever. Come over here. Go over there. Together as much. What is this? Keep. Take all that. What is? This? Go, go to the keep. Flashing for some reason. Okay, sleep and regeneration. You can build beds in the keep to ensure rest, better rest for your survivors. Bed rest also gives faster recovery to the wounded and sick. Also give them bandages or medication if this serious condition is serious. Okay. So I want to build this, right? Yeah, build a bed. 
Can I see in there? Is it just kind of like a... I guess not. See what you're doing? Alright, well, hen house. What does this do for us? You need to manage your animals, be very care useful alive. Okay, feed the animals, select a food edible by them, and the left mouse button dragon. Okay, just like the other. You run out of food, you can kill the animals to obtain meat, but this one off portion of meat would be better than a continuous supply of eggs. No. Rotten food? Fodder? There we go. That's a lot. Greens and herbs. And like split it? I don't want to put the whole thing in there. We got these over here too. I think I need to. We got a new character. Yeah, 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 yeah. You come down here. Okay, so can I go sleep? Sleep in bed? Don't I need to sleep in bed? Yeah, lightly wounded. So I can give them this. There we go. And I can give them an egg? I feel like I want to use that egg, right? Chew to kill hunger. Your illness, it's poisoning. Okay. Well, at least feed him something. So die. Go in here. Oh, I'm, I have the wrong person. Over there. You're resting right now. Very tired, but resting. Thirsty. You need to drink something. Is this the well? I think it is. You remove the debris blocking the well, sadly to no avail. The well's base has been crushed by the trebuchet. The shaft itself is blocked, and there's no way for you to clear it without dying of thirst. Perhaps you could find some portable water in the city market under the cover of darkness? It's risky, but it's the best chance you have. Okay. Went his wood in it, used the makeshift bandage to put him in bed. Then put him in bed? I mean, I did use the bandage, but that was beforehand. Alright, how you doing? You're just sad, and for just reason. We'll collect resources. Ooh, I think there's a thing here. I, it turned green. What does that mean? The good? Or the hen house? Rummage? Alright, I mean, we can make food, too. You probably have to. Oh. Go rummage. So our supplies, economy summary. Give time until dusk? Yeah, I ain't doing that. How long do you need to sleep? Still tired. You're not very tired anymore, so that's the least change. Is there a uh, speed the time up? Yes, there is. That makes me happy. Okay, so you're not tired anymore, right? No, he's still slightly tired. Slightly hungry. Healthy. Worried. Slightly wounded. Fit, healthy, hydrated, fed. Slightly tired, that's all. I guess that works. I don't know what to do. Not available in the preview. But okay. Okay, I don't think this is the demo. I think it's just a preview build. But I'm not 100% sure. Can I wake you up? Is that possible? I'm still slightly tired. I'm just gonna speed things up. I'm assuming it's about to go nighttime. God, the rummage time! Holy crap! I hope he was able to get it all done. Yeah, you sleep in bed. You scavenge the city. All right, we still only have one place right now. I didn't bring anything with me. Oh no. Well, this may be problematic. I forgot to grab a torch. I assume it's going to be the same way as the other one. Is there any new debris? I mean, this I don't remember. The vegetables are here. We need clean water times 10. Well, there's times 7. I'm going to go check this out. Take all those. Got a bunch of vegetables, so we got a bunch of food in them. This is where the gate to the high city, the wealthiest district of the city used to be. Used to be. 
because the gate, struck by a trebuchet projectile, has collapsed into rubble. No doubt there would be good pickings on the other side, but it's po is it possible to clear a passage. Alas, the rubble is compressed and blocked by several collapsed ceiling beams. The way they are jammed, they could only be moved from the other side of the gate. It's like the wonders of the famed high city would remain out of reach for now. Really? And what was the point of that? <laughs> right. I'm gonna do a little bit of running. I feel like we're mostly fine as long as I stay within the areas that I've already gone to. That would be a little bit more sneaky. What was that? What is this? Need a torch to burn corpses. Well, you know what? I wish I would have grabbed one. Right? Assume I want to avoid that, probably. Oh, I'd have to do that to get up here to whatever these things are. I get it. Come collect resources. I didn't double click you! Right? Is a speed up option? Is that what I just saw? Yeah, one up here, and it's probably good stuff up there. Makes more noise. Eh, it's fine. Ooh! Got a shovel! It means I can get in that one area that I couldn't get into before. You can go remove that rubble. Take all of you. What's happening right here? Surge faster. Okay, so I got all the water that I need. Uh, there's another thing over here. I'm going to interact with this. It's like another exit or whatnot. Approach the city gate for the market of the harbor. It would be an incredible convenient shortcut for your nightly journeys. The door, however, is solid and definitely shut. If Asmirs haven't been able to breach it, you need a key. But where could it be? Okay, so I need to get a key before I can do that. Let's hide here. I'm good. Where's our backpack sitting? Okay, so basically I don't really have any space left. Collect items that will help the soldiers. Oh yeah, I haven't done that yet. I haven't gotten no items to help the soldiers. Even think about that. Well hurry up and demolish this faster. I don't care if it's loud. Want to get through here? There's got to be something better back there. Now the question is, yeah, that's what I thought. It's gonna say, is it a one-time use? It says improvised shovel, so I expected it to be. What does hide here do? I just like literally hide. Okay, makes me think that we're gonna be seeing some enemies. Don't really want to sprint anymore. I'm gonna try to go until I hit some morning. I'm not gonna try to go back. Mostly because that way I feel like we're a little bit returned to the castle. Night turns to day, your character's ease is visible to enemies. Patrols will be sent to your location soon. Additionally, scavenging is exhausting work. Then your character may not be able to run from the guards. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll go back to the castle as soon as I'm done with this. You go back to the cabin. Well, I'm rested. Slightly hungry. Thirsty. Here we go. Back to the castle. Alright, so now I'm hydrated. I have to dress the wound and rest. Hey, man. I, s I swear to God, I did already dress the wound. Oh, alright, whatever. It's fine. Run! Run back to the place! Yes, I want to return. Enemy assault approaches. Oh, you must get ready for the worst. Your enemies are preparing an assault. We need to support our soldiers and help them stop the assault. I don't know how. How do I do? How do I do? Um. Flint, is there a way I can heal you? Then we had an improvised bandage or something. Makeshift bandage. Use. This wound looks bad.
Did you do it? All right, are you awake now? Yeah, come out here. Okay, well, you need to go rest. Okay, and you're fine. You need water. Uh, go use one of those. You're sad, it's fine. Coat is so dry. You're fine now. So how do I repair the... Uh, the enemy is firing siege engine. Flying rock can cause serious damage when it hits a character the workshop, but some of the stones can be collected and used to strengthen the walls of the bastion. Defenders do everything they can to defend the castle against the invaders. The items provide them. Give them a light of hope for survival. The arrangement of bars and numbers represent the distribution of forces in combat. After the battle is over, they will be refreshed and the battle summary will be displayed. I feel like I should... I'm safe here, right? I think he's safe here. This is where the building says it's safe. Oh, okay, I see how this works. So this shows like a little red light. Come great. Let me come, let me come gather some stuff. Got to be something useful here. I guess that's good. Stop hitting my buildings. You gotta get some pig stuff. Oh, it's manure. I see. I assume I need to feed them still. Yeah. Um, can I take half of it? I don't want to do all of it, man. There's a split option, but it won't let me t do a split option. All right, well, I'll keep feeding them. Pigs, I guess, or whatever. Oh my god. He's safe inside there, I hope. It doesn't give much. How about the vegetables? It doesn't give much either. Uh, I'll give you something so you at least have some food. Alright. Deliver bandages for wounded soldiers. Suffered heavy losses. Okay. We collected stone to strengthen the walls. Alright. I don't have any bandages yet. Send that off. I think we can open it up again. Right. No, can I only do it once? Oh no. Wait, why am I still getting hit? I thought the battle was over. It was a tough battle we did. The force of the enemy is withdrawn from the walls and minimal losses on our side. So we lost... Oh no, one soldier's wounded. Okay. Are well supplied. Okay, cool. Stop sleeping, you're awake. Thirsty, hungry. Oh, come out here. Go, go start gathering resources. You. Uh, so can I go craft bandages? I hope so. Take all. You can you go rummage? Okay, we have a dryer, a workbench, a butcher's table. Oh my God, there's so much stuff. Ah. Uh, build tools, torches, and bundles of arrows. Raw meat, fibers, and fodder. Dried meat, dried vegetables, and hey, let's do this one. I feel like a workbench is going to be useful. Put you right there. Go build that. Oh, wait. I lied. Uh, I think we're good. Liver bandages. Okay, you know what? No, 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 no. You go him over here and start making me stuff. He's building that. Uh, where do I make bandages at? Was it here? Now oh, that's a stump of this. It's got to be at the workbench, right? Herbal medicine, medicine. It's got to be at the workbench. It's the only thing I can think of. You go rummage, actually, and I'll do him. There we go. Nope, doesn't do what I'd hoped. What's all this then? Why oh, make bandages? Back to the building. Super fast. 
Alright. Firewood and planks. Meals. Tool storage bundle of arrows. Raw meat. Makeshift bandit. So I need this. I need an herbal workshop. I need better wood and I need whatever that thing takes. Come over here again. Okay, and this is fixed. It's, it's doing the rummage. Like, it's going back to where it was. I was afraid it was actually just going to start from scratch again. Do this. I need... Wrap that. Okay, I got a makeshift bandit. Is that really all? Got sick after being soaked in the rain. Oh no! Your diseases? I don't know which is better. I think this is less as good. At least, did you use it? I, I don't know if he used it because, yeah, I don't think he did. Because he was busy doing something else. Let's go check the workbench real quick. I would like to make bandages, but I have to have this thing. I have to have tools, and I think I have to have more wood still. No, night has come. Sleep in bed, scavenge the city. Lightly wounded, thirsty, and hungry. Sick, sad. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's fine. Uh, start scavenging. Ah, oh, freaking crap, I did it again. I keep forgetting I have to, like, actually have things. Why is there a hide thing here? Did I not be running anymore? It's weird to me that there's a hide thing now. Just keep running, just keep running, let's come up here. Actually, let's come down here, because there's still stuff down here that I didn't go. Yeah, I kind of saw stuff. So we got here. Now, if I get water, I'll just drink one. If I get food, I'll just eat one. Valuables and wood. I need a lot of wood, so that's fine. I just used a lot to build a bunch of things. Take all of that. Oh no, we did nothing for the garrison. E. Hopefully we don't get attacked tomorrow. Got more water. This. Wait, did I just go around in a circle? Oh. Oh, okay. That's cool. No, no, go back up. You realize it was just literally a circle. I'm not. I'm not worried about running around here at all. I wish I could go back and just get a torch. Jesus. Okay, and I have to have a key for that. Okay, let's go up the way that I cleared out. Wait a second. Can I go in somewhere? Okay, yeah, I don't know how to get there. So it's on the other side of the houses. Got some stuff here. Oh no! Everything's fine, right? We got enemies now. Okay. Good to know. Search here. I don't want to cause a lot of noise anymore. <laughs> I'm going to be a little bit more precautious than I was. Oh, no. I don't want to go back yet, though. I guess I do, because there's nowhere else to go unless it goes into that area where they are, and I'm scared. I mean, is this going to be near the dude? Or are we far enough away? I'm going to have to go home in a second anyways. Okay, take... Oh, I don't know what that is. Iron bar? Uh, use this. I don't know what to get rid of. 
materials. I legitimately have no idea. They only stack in five. Oh. Oh god, but it's iron. I gotta take it over. I don't even have this, so. I'm gonna do it over the valuables. I feel like that's more of a resource that's useful. Grab this last thing. This corpse is blocking that way. What is this, anyways? Dirty water? Right, just run home. Yep. Don is breaking return to the castle. I'm running. I'm running. Fast as I can. He, he runs very slowly. I mean, he is wounded, so I guess it does make sense. Bandaged, but I have to, like, go back home and sleep still. I don't fully know how that whole system works. Yep, return. All right. All right. Galvic again, he looks even worse for wear than before. The last fight must have been intense. Tells you are, there are wounded soldiers after the Ismar's assault. The defenders desperately need bandages. Also, their weapons need repair. It's not the worst of it, Galvin. You also seen soldiers of the Sangmar Empire to the south. Sangmar. The Sangmarian fleet here in the Akar lands. Are they going to strike the Ismar's back? For now, they're a great unknown. Having told you all the good, Galvic return, turns to return to the Bastion. Looking at him, stumble in exhaustion, you can only wonder if you can see him again after the next battle. Alright. Okay, so the night was calm, everything was happy and fine. Bastion, I don't really have anything for you. Oh. Oh, I gotta send water to you? I definitely don't want to give you all of it. Uh, do I take this out and repair it? You have another stone and a makeshift bandage. Okay. At least something I can help with. Need more? Okay. So as far as me... Dude! Starving. Okay, you need to eat some food. Oh wait, I can just do this. Yeah. Oh wait, we actually got no. We gotta we gotta cook food up. All right. Actually, you know what? I think this is a perfect place for me to s stop for now. Let me know if you guys want to see more. I don't know how long this goes, how far this goes, but this is pretty cool. I'm enjoying this. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I will leave it here for now and leave a link below so you can wish list the game. I don't I think it says it's quarter one of or quarter two of 2021 is when it comes out. But yeah, there is a demo on their Steam page. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.